Alright, we move on to speaking part 2. Your topic is describe a water sport you would like to try in the future. So, in the future means now your topic is about future, you can use future tense. Uh, or describe a water sport you would like to try for the first time. What is it that is present? Where you will do it? Future. Whether it is easy or difficult? Present. Why would you like to try it? Future. Right? Okay. So, you can take a start and you got to speak on it for one to two minutes. May yes. I speak? Yes. Well, as you asked, what is it? So, it is an uh, adventurous uh, sport. And uh, as you know, water sports, so it's really, really uh, adventurous for people uh, because people of uh, any uh, people of all age groups can do this uh, without any restrictions, any problems. So that's why it's um, really uh, actually uh, according to me, uh, there are lots of many uh, sports in my country. Uh, but I uh, like um, sea diving, jet sky. But I really, really try to do this first and want to do this first. That's it? No. Carry on? <laughs> yeah. You took a pause. I thought that's it. No. Yeah. And uh, the second thing is that where I will try to do it. So, um, the people in the people of my country uh, uh, like to go Rishikesh, uh, which is um, a beautiful town and uh, it is a state in Uttarakhand. So, I would like to go there for white water rafting. And the third question is that uh, uh, it's easy or difficult. So it's not difficult. People, uh, one can, uh, people of all age groups can do this. Uh, so no one need to do practice, need to no, need no, no worries. And um, it's really easy. But someone need to having a expert guide because uh, at some places it can be dangerous. And uh, last question is that, um, sorry, can you repeat it? No. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just manage it. I try to manage. Uh, you asked that uh, uh, what I would like to do. So, I, I, in my life, I never ever tried any adventure sports. So, water drafting sounds really good to okay. me. So, that's why. Okay. Thank you. You have spoken for two minutes. Now, the first thing is you should be specific when the topic is describe a water sport so you should start your answer with the water sport you are going to talk about not about water sport in general okay. you have to be specific second there were some pauses at one point i thought you finished all right yeah so there is pressure yeah. uh, okay of all that and the next point is clarity at certain points it was not clear yeah. what you were talking about so, you must focus that as well and you should not say, see only for you I read the questions. In actual IELTS test, examiner will not no. read the questions. Examiner will give you the topic card with pen and paper and you got to write down all the points. So, you should not ask the examiner what the next point is and all that. Another important thing is uh, you should not say my first question or the second question or the third question don't give the reference like you can say first of all the sport is river rafting and i like river rafting very much once i saw it uh, when i was in northern areas and actually th then you move on to next point so just take a look don't say well the next point is where you will do it i will do it in there and there all that okay can i say something yes it's all happened just because of nervousness okay and lack of, um, yeah last time you performed better mm, exactly better. so let's move on to speaking part three i don't give you the bench score i don't want to disappoint you no. okay so we just move on to speaking part three now which is the most popular water sport in your country well, water raft, white water rafting is most popular sport in my country, and uh, no one, uh, one, no one uh, does need to swim for this swim. It does need to swimming for this sport, and um, it's uh, it's it's, uh, it's uh, it gives it gives me um, better purpose of recreation and adventure. So not only me but also the people of my country so that's why it's really important why do people like to do things near water well water is necessity 
and uh, uh, and gives and and it serves better purpose of uh, adventure and recreation too people uh, like to camp and having uh, and have a bonfire near the water and uh, they enjoy fishing and um, uh, they enjoy fishing and having a parties near the coast and uh, sand views around uh, around the water during the sunset and sun falls uh, are pleasant and smoothy okay the word is pronounced as coast instead of cost uh, coast near the coast. coast all right are there many schools that teach swimming to children in your country not many few of the good schools teach <laughs> swimming to the students uh, of these schools because uh, uh, according to uh, uh, swimming uh, some most of the people most of the schools have to invest lots of funds and space to rebuild to build uh, pools and uh, hire a inst good instructor so it's impossible for some schools to do that okay this is better now you regained your confidence right yeah all right so be confident and when you go for your actual IELTS speaking test if there is anything like nervousness and all that before the test starts examiners usually ask you are you ready to take the test if you are not ready say just give me some time I'm not feeling well don't tell them I'm nervous just tell them I'm not feeling well please give me some time then even they will send you back and they will call you after 10 to 15 minutes. So never allow the examiner to start the test when you are nervous or heartbeat is very fast and all that. Okay? okay. All the best. Thank you.